Good luck. I get sent to this game. Um, let's try to play a uh, third foul rook. Okay. And then from here, I see they're aggressively proceeding uh, the rook pawn. Let me check my audio level. I could boost that slightly. Um, now this is different than what they played against somebody else. So I was watching one of their games the other day. I forget what opening they played, but it was fun and interesting. Um, hang on. Do I want to move the rook first or do I want to move the silver first? Maybe I want to play opposing rook. <laughs> yeah, let's play fourth foul rook here. This looks interesting. Oh, that's strange. They've abandoned uh, trying to press this rook pawn forward further. I don't get it. Um, but maybe this is some hyper-aggressive strategy I've not heard of before. Maybe so. What's the point, though? I mean, I should take this, because if I don't take, they're just going to take my pawn anyway. Um, but my object, I think, is to get my king to safety. Um, my other object here was to push this pawn and have some fun. And I'm debating just how much fun that is and when's the right time to push it. Um, it might not be very fun. Because they have a fork here. Um, I'm so confused. I want to move my king to safety, but also I don't want to completely concede to whatever attack they're starting to prepare here. This looks kind of interesting. And very unusual, but still. Um, and I've wondered if I should just drop the bishop back this way. Uh, probably not. Um because then they can target this pawn, and I have no way to defend it. This is such an aggressive opening from them. I'm impressed. Okay, this blocks your rook, however. Um, this is extremely aggressive play. I'm not sure it leads to anything. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're going to do something crazy. As I tend to do. All right, so they're threatening to take my pawn. Now, I could... No, I can't take there. Taking is not an option for me. It is an option for them. Hmm. They could just reinforce their attack on my pawn. They could win the pawn. Hmm. I could drop a pawn here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm confused. Oh, if I drop a pawn, then they do pawn takes, and I don't have a recourse. Interesting. So, like, I have to defend my bishop here. This is not ideal. If I don't defend the bishop, then they move the rook over, and they're taking a pawn, and I have no follow-up. Or no continuation. So, I'm going to play this move, although I don't like it. And now I'm debating, do I take with the rook so I can get the bishop and get a lot of attacks very quickly? That looks extremely tempting to do rook takes. And if they take with the, their bishop, I can take back with my bishop. But they don't have a rook drop. Further, I mean, if I do bishop takes, things just get completely out of control. Um, do they? I'm not sure. I might survive if I do bishop takes, but I never activate my rook that way. Yeah, the more interesting move is if I offer this exchange. Which, I don't know if they anticipated this one. This is interesting. So... One immediate downside of this is that I can drop a pawn right up in their face, and they can't stop it. Then I could swing the rook over and harass the bishop, which also they can't stop. So they put this thing in motion that they can't control. Um... If I take this pawn, lots of things are hanging. No, I'm sorry, the bishop's defended. I'm just hanging a rook. Never mind. If I push, if silver takes, we're back where we started. Um, let's attack the bishop's head. This forces a bishop exchange. Uh, yeah, I walked right into that, but a bishop and a rook are pretty similar in value. And I did offer that exchange once already. Now they are attacking my gold general, and if I don't defend this, then, like, I lose. Or I lose a gold general. Um, I don't really feel like walking into the corner, so... Uh, do I offer these two generals so I could start taking a knight and that's all I can take? Mm, I don't think so. I could defend. Well, I can't pawn drop to defend unless I sack this pawn. Um, 
I could drop a bishop forking their rook in gold. You might think this gold general's well defended. Um, that may or may not be the case. Yeah, let's do the disgusting move here. Okay. That is bold. Um, didn't expect that. What's the deal here? I mean, yeah, they're creating space for a rook to fit, but... Um, oh my goodness, they could have just taken the rook and forked me right here. That's not great. This is puzzling me. I guess they didn't expect me to play such a silly pawn drop. Um, how do I recover from this? How do I recover without allowing the same trick that we just allowed? Oh, there is a way to recover here. Um, that's fortunate. It's not beautiful. All right, we're going to activate our silver. The obvious threat here is this knight attack, which loosens up their king a lot. So if they do that, I can drop a pawn on their rook's head, and we can have some more fun. Um, wait, I thought I'd play in just rook takes here. That was my plan. Um, it's not a good plan at all. I guess plan B is going to be a retreat the silver and just give up a gold general. I don't like that plan either. Um, man, uh, my tactics are... My tactical reading ability this morning is not working at all. So what do I do? How do I turn this around? Um, maybe I offer the silver for just a pawn. It's not terrible. scary sure but it's not terrible oh there's their bishop here is not floating this would be better if their bishop were floating let's see how this goes how many things do you want to exchange i have at least some prospect of defending my king um, how about you? Okay, maybe I've made things worse. I can't really tell. This knight here is floating. So if I just attack the rook, they check me, I block. They can't check me, but they can promote back here. Um, then I take this knight and promote. I could take here and promote. Hmm. Yeah, I did want a fun game. We're going to have a fun game. They get a dragon. It's only one dragon until they take my other rook and then suddenly they have two dragons. 
Um, this fork is not available yet. Now the fork is available. So now I don't want this fork to occur. And I have a choice. Do I offer my gold general on this pile of pieces? No, I mean the gold is already offered. And there's no saving it anyway. So, yeah, I'm offering it. Um, let's take this one. Mm -hmm. Now that's a rook check. They could promote the rook even if I drop back here. So, <sighs> how do I deal with this? If I drop the rook and if they don't exchange, um, if they promote, I can escape and save a piece. But then they can win my rook. Um, oh, they're threatening Rook takes gold anyway. Um, interesting. Yeah, my Rook can't be used meaningfully on their side of the board, so I'm going to have to offer it back. Um, That was a blunder. Now I'm back in the game. After that incredible series of events, I am back in the game. Thanks for the game. All right. Um, that was exciting. Didn't expect this. Uh, do you have some time to review? Uh, let's see. I know our hour of day doesn't exactly match up with it being early in the morning for me um, and late for them. If not, that's okay. But uh, it's up to them. Uh, if not, that's entirely fine and I can do some analysis myself. Let me check quickly what this means. Um, unfortunately, I don't happen to understand Japanese. Okay. They don't understand English, but please give them an impression. Sure. Okay. So, yeah, this is interesting. Um, yeah, so I was debating... Yeah. Um, so I, I was thinking maybe this or this or... I don't know. It's interesting. Uh, is there a button that says I was confusing uh, or confused? Oh, well, yeah, there are options. Let's see. Let me quickly see this. Uh, Oh, sorry, that's his previous statement here. He says this, which, yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that seems better. Yeah. And I could still do, yeah. Um. I could still play the silver up and so forth. This is much more resilient against this very fast attack. 
Um, yeah. No, I'm completely with you that they didn't anticipate the rook drop, or they saw it, just misread something. Um, yes. Yeah, there's a counterattack here. Yeah. I think I've seen a... Let me zoom the board slightly. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Wow. That's interesting. Um... Yeah. Uh... Let's try this, uh, I'll try this, but, uh, yeah. Cool. I don't know if that means anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'll study this. This is cool. Yeah. This is a really interesting idea. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. See you next time. Um, that. Uh, all right. Have a nice day. Very interesting. I didn't know this existed. So I can look deeper in play Shogi at this. I was aware that opposing Rook is a concept. Uh, he had some very strong countermeasures for what I played in the actual game. So when I've seen opposing Rook played, it's always been through a different move order. And while I did look at this sort of stuff on play Shogi, this, I, my analysis ended here. And I didn't, like, this combination of the particular moves I've not seen before. Probably, I, or maybe I have seen it and I've just forgotten. Um, I know there was a time I was playing 4th Fall Rook all the time. That was exciting. Usually Gota is not so bold as to play this very clever sequence. Um, but, yeah, they played very aggressively here. And this exploits my non-use of the third fault here probably i need to like admit that i messed up and just let them in uh or try to oppose this and they have i've given up a tempo um so yeah very cool i'll have to study that a bit many thanks uh, to my opponent for this interesting game condolences to them for uh just the way this concluded that uh yeah seriously i did not try to trap them here um i just did not want this dragon to promote or promote over here rather if the dragon promotes over there that's what i didn't want to see so i was willing to offer a gold to try to slow this and keep the token away from my castle but there was a bit of a hasty response that yeah, the timing of our time zones makes it a little difficult to coordinate the teaching ladder game. So uh, I would encourage members who participate in the teaching ladder tournament, please uh, join the Discord server. Uh, but yeah, I'll see if I can get with the tournament organizer and if we could get that kind of advice put in Japanese as well as English in our announcement. It might be there already and I might have missed it, but... Anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for the game, and good luck to everybody playing.